Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on how to download, install, and play mods for Fallout New Vegas. Um, this tutorial will also work for Fallout 3, Oblivion, and the Oblivion Overhaul Nerim. Um, but I'm going to use Fallout New Vegas for this tutorial. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I get to download a mod. Um, a popular website to download mods from for Fallout New Vegas is NewVegasNexus.com. In fact, it's the most popular website. I'll provide a link for this website along with Fallout 3 and Oblivion's uh, Nexus third-party mod website. So I'm going to go ahead and download a, uh, a random mod here, the Imaginator. I, haven't, I have no affiliation with the creator of this game, nor did I create this mod, so I'm not taking credit for anything here. Just go to the files, this, um, this little tab right here, and then under main files you should, uh, you should have a link right here, this orange, this orange text. Just click that and your download will start, downloading file. Um, you don't need an, an account to download files. It should all be free and open source. Um, take note on this right here. Um, you need to have um, something to extract .zip files. Um, I use WinRIR. If you don't know how to extract .zip files, I'd recommend looking at a tutorial on that. I'm not going to cover that today. So when this box comes up, just press Save File. It'll default saving it to your Downloads folder. Mine's already done downloaded. Um, when your file is done, just right click on it, open containing folder to directly or to go directly to the um, the download. Um, if you don't know where your downloads folder is at, it's usually in C users, your name, downloads, and it should show up somewhere in here. When you find it, just double click it and it'll open it in um, whatever file extraction system you use here. Um, when you have this all open, navigate to your data folder. Um, by default, your data folder for um, for New Vegas. By default, it'll be under C program files, um, Fallout New Vegas, and then data. If you're using a 64-bit operating system, it'll be under the x86 folder, and then Bethesda Softworks, Fallout New Vegas, and then data. But for modding, mine's under program files and Fallout New Vegas data. Just find your data folder. If you're using Steam, this would be helpful for the Steam users as well. Um, Again, if you have the 64-bit operating system, Steam will be under your x86 folder. If not, it'll be under Program Files. Just go to any Program Files, and then navigate to your Steam folder, Steam, and then Steam Apps, and then Common, and then Fallout New Vegas will be under there, along with Data, your, the subfolder Data, if you're using Steam. But I have mine not through Steam, so I'm going to navigate back to my Data folder. Now, when you have your Data folder open, Again, open your um, WinRIR thing, your extraction, and then just simply take all of the um, the objects within the RIR, click and drag them over to your folder. Now, mine just simply has the .esp. It does not have the um, the meshes or textures. If yours has meshes or texture folder, drag those over also. Don't worry about the README files. Those don't have to be transferred over. Um, so again, if you have meshes and textures folder within this RIR, drag those over to here as well. Make sure you drag them over to the side here and not into a not into a folder. So for instance, if I drag if I drag this over and drop it in this box, I just dropped it in video. So I'm gonna get rid of that. You want to drop it in your data folder. Make sure it shows up. All your files showed up within this within this folder. As you can see, mine extracted okay. So when you're done with that, just push back once to get to C program files Fallout New Vegas and then scroll down to Fallout New Vegas Launcher.exe. Make sure you load up the launcher and not the game itself because this will this is where you actually activate the mod to play in game. So double click Fallout New Vegas Launcher and this will show up. Click on data files here and here we have the Electro City Imaginator. Double click that or just click it once, I'm sorry, so it's checked and then press OK and now your mod will be loaded in game when you push play. Um, again if you're using if you're using um, Steam, you should also you should still have a, um, a an auto launcher for you to click on your data folder. Um, and I think that'll actually cover everything for Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, Oblivion, and Narum installing a mod. If you have any further questions, don't be afraid to ask. Um, thanks for joining me.